Lesson 8.2, count and write to 20. We use cubes or two 10 frames with objects to count to 20. We write the number 20 and the word 20 right and left handed. Here we have some blue cubes. There are 10 cubes in the top row and there are 10 cubes in the bottom row. There are two sets of 10. There are 20 cubes in all. This is the number 20. It's a two with a zero next to it. Here is the word 20, T-W-E-N-T-Y. We can write the number 20 with our right hand. We make a two with a zero next to it. We start here to make the two and we're going to come up. We're going to slant down to the bottom line and pull towards our hand. And for the zero, we're going to start at the top and we're going to go around this way and come back up. 20. We can write 20 with our left hand like this. We're going to make the two and then the zero next to it. We're going to make the two by starting here. We curve up to the top line, come down on a slant and push away. For the zero, we're going to come around this way and pull towards our hand and come back up. Going to come around, pull towards our hand and back up. That's the number 20. We can write the word 20 with our right hand like this. We start with the T. We're going to start above the dashed line. We come straight down to the bottom line. We go on the left side and cross towards our hand, T. We make a W. We come down and up and down and up. We make an E. We make an N. We make a T again. And we make a Y. And you can start here and then bring this line down into the basement, or you can start here and then bring this line over. 20. We can write 20 with our left hand like this. We start with the T. We start above the dashed line. We come straight down and we go on the right side and pull it towards our hand. We make the W. We make an E push away and come around. We make an M, down and bounce around. T, we start above the dash line, come straight down, go on the right side and pull towards our hand, and we make the Y. And we go down into the basement, and then we can put the small piece right here, 20. You can count to 20 with me. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Here we have some ladybugs, and both ten frames are full, so we know there are two tens. There's a ten and a ten. We know there are 20 ladybugs. We have the number 20 and the word 20. Here we have some butterflies. The first 10 frame is full, and the second 10 frame is missing one, isn't it? So there's nine. 10 and nine is 19. Here we have the word number 19 and the word 19. There are 19 butterflies. 19 is one less than 20. Here we have a circle of many bees. We need to count them and write the number. We can put a dot by each bee as we count around so we know which bees we have counted. We go around the circle in one direction. We can start anywhere. We can start at the top right here and say one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. There's nineteen. We started here and there's a dot already, so this is where we stop. And we can write the number 19. It's a one with a nine next to it. 19. Here we have many parrots. We need to count them and write the number. And we can use dots to help us count. We can count this row up here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We can write the number twenty. It's a two with a zero next to it. The number twenty is a two followed by a zero, and they're together, 20. So we can show 20 as two 10 trains, two 10 frames that are full, 10 and 10 more. In our next lesson, 8.3, we're gonna count an order to 20. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you'll join me for next time. Remember to hit the like button. Bye.